So is the sun working today? Is it on? Yep, it's definitely on today. Well, if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna get a quick solar off-grid haircut take a shower and then we're gonna back up down this long long road in reverse with this trailer how's the back it's time to just you know whistle it on back no big deal done this a thousand times have you guys seen that video anyway uh, some of you hecklers you might enjoy this Back that head up. Back it up like a dump truck. Yeah. Yeah. Beep, 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 yeah. beep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm in the bushes today. Back it up, baby. Yeah. It ain't nothing for me with water on one side. Yeah. Yeah. Touchdown! Narkill. Freaking boat ramp champ, baby. Nothing to see here. Just backed up almost a half mile down this dirt road. Backing up a trailer is totally like one of those things that it's really easy to get in your own head. And it makes it infinitely harder when you have a crowd or people are giving you bad vibes or kind of heckling you over it. I'm sure you guys have seen those videos at like the Havasu launch ramps. But uh, yeah, I was by myself. I could really focus on it. I did film it at the same time and you know, I, I think I did pretty good. Pretty proud of myself. How did I do, Rex? Was it pretty good? Were you impressed? Let's take a rest break for the big pooch. Okay. At this abandoned school. Oh my goodness. I think it's time for a cheeseburger at this abandoned gas station. Oh boy, we might be in for some trouble. I don't know how I noticed this, but there's some water on the grill, and it's really hot out. There should be no water just sitting on the grill. And I opened the hood, and uh, we got coolant everywhere. And we are in for a serious problem, possibly. It's really hard to see, but I found it. There's a crack in the top of the radiator. That's it. That's the problem. I gotta get a new radiator. This is not good. This is not good at all. We're what 48 miles from Blythe 60 miles from Palm Springs area there's an auto zone in both and they both have this radiator but I don't know if I'm able to make it over there man I mean I'm leaking all this coolant this could not have happened at a worse location I'm I'm out in the middle of nowhere this place is desert center ah this is not good I do have the Jeep that's one thing I do have going for me although I don't know I just I don't really want to unload it and drive you know, 120 miles round trip to get this radiator. I think I would rather just limp this whole package to uh, Palm Desert and just do it in the AutoZone parking lot. So I think that's the call, man. Wish me luck. All right, so I got some duct tape here holding the crack together. And I know what I'm asking out of this duct tape is completely ridiculous, but hey, it is what it is. It's what I got. And uh, let's just hope for the best. I think, I think this patch might be able to hold for the 50, 60 miles to uh, Palm Desert. We'll see.
Surprisingly, the duct tape is actually holding pretty well. So that's good. Although I have devised a new plan. We're gonna stage here at Chiriaco Summit, just outside of Joshua Tree National Park. We're gonna launch the Jeep, drive that 25 miles to Indio, get the radiator, drive 25 miles back here, and likely install it tonight. Heat is still definitely a factor, so I wanna do it as, when it's as cool as possible. I also, you know, I shouldn't be doing this. My back is gonna hate me, but I just don't have it in me to pay a mechanic, so it kinda just is what it is, and uh, you know, I could sit here and complain about it or we could just get it done and keep it moving. So that's what we're gonna do. the radiator to the back and uh, man that was a grueling drive on the freeway let's do it again it's a new dawn it's a new day Let's put this giant radiator in and be on our way. And hope for no complications. No, no complications today, please. And there it is, crispy fresh new radiator. The old one cracked right along here. So uh, this one should last a really long time and yeah. Some dude commented in the last video and I'm not trying to like intentionally flame this dude, I just, I just can't help it. He said, you know what's nice after a long day at the river? A shower and some AC. Well, you know what's nice after changing a radiator all by yourself out in the sun in the desert? Being done. Oh, no, he did it. It's all in good fun, no hard feelings, and you're totally right. A shower right now would be pretty nice. All right, here's the old one. And the new radiator is in. And don't worry, we're not gonna leave any coolant out here in the desert. I caught it in this bucket and then double bagged it in two construction trash bags. They're really thick, they're not leaking at all. And then I put it in the box that the radiator came in. So yeah, we're gonna take it in Indio and we're gonna dispose of it properly, which is the right thing to do. I'm gonna scrap my old radiator. Hopefully I can get like a few bucks for it because there's a lot of brass and aluminum in it. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm just really proud of myself. This job was 99.9% .9 contained. So we're gonna leave this campsite exactly how we found it, which is the right thing to do. I just, I can't stand people that leave waste or hazardous material or come out to the desert and just dump junk. It's just, it's unacceptable. And I don't condone, condone that at all. It actually gets me kind of riled up just thinking about it. So yeah, find out if this radiator holds. Find out if we have any more problems. No more problems, please. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video on Friday. Thank you so much for watching.